Let's take a look at the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. So let's start off with an equation and let's balance the equation right away. We can see we have two oxygens here, but here we have two plus one. We have three in the product. If we put a two here, that'll give us an even number. Two times one is two, plus two is four. So now we could put a two here, two times two is four. We've balanced the oxygens, two times two, four hydrogens, two times two, four hydrogens. This is the balanced equation for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide, usually when we buy it, it's a mixture of water and H2O2, but we're just going to call this a liquid here. Oxygen, that's a gas, so we'll see bubbles because of a gas. And water, depending what concentration you use. If this is very concentrated, it'll be very hot. This will be a gas, but most of the time it's going to be a liquid. So let's put liquid for water. So that's our equation. Often to make the decomposition reaction happen, we use what's called a catalyst. So a very common catalyst, that's MnO2, manganese 4 oxide. Another one that you'll see is Ki. This is a salt, potassium iodide. Ki, potassium iodide, that's what's used in the decomposition of H2O2 here in the video here with this elephant toothpaste. So when we add the solution with Ki in it, this H2O2, it decomposes very quickly produces the oxygen gas. That's the bubbles. That's what's creating that foam there. And then there's water in there. That's probably going to be the steam. If you look, you'll see that steam coming off of the elephant toothpaste. So Ki, that's another catalyst. Finally, there's something called catalase, which is an enzyme. It's a biological catalyst. Animal and plant cells, they have catalase in it. And this enzyme, when it comes in contact with the H2O2, it decomposes the hydrogen peroxide. We get oxygen and water. So sometimes people will put hydrogen peroxide on a wound and you'll see it bubble. Those bubbles, that's the oxygen gas. Rather than wound myself, let's take a look at catalase in a carrot and how it reacts with H2O2. So we have some carrot. I've chopped it up. That will damage the cells and expose the catalase. We pour hydrogen peroxide. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide like you'd buy in the store. And you can see right away those bubbles. And those bubbles that's the oxygen gas that we formed in the decomposition of the H2O2. You saw that in the equation. So the catalase from the cells of the carrot that I damaged when I cut them, that is what's causing the decomposition of H2O2, and we see the oxygen gas. If we were to just put out some hydrogen peroxide in a watch glass, nothing would happen. It would just sit there for a while. We really need that enzyme to get the reaction to start. Once we add a little bit of carrot, the bubbles will start forming and the hydrogen peroxide will decompose. One last thing to note that we put the catalyst like the manganese 4 oxide or the catalase above the arrow here. The catalyst makes the decomposition take place, but it doesn't get used up. It's the same at the beginning and the end of the reaction. The hydrogen peroxide, it's gone. It's changed into oxygen and water. This is Dr. B with the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for watching.